Hey there, today we're going to discuss more about the arrays. So this time we'll talk about two-dimensional arrays. So let's get started. Let me maximize this editor. And as you can see, I have this file created, the x40 underscore two-dimensional array. So a two-dimensional array is an array of arrays and can be thought of, of as a table. You can also think of a two-dimensional array as a grid for representing a chessboard, city blocks, and much more. So to better understand this, I'll just give you a little example in here. This is just an introductory to the, to in using two-dimensional array. So it's going to look something like this. So the type, it's an integer type. The identifier, let's just use one alphabet, A, and then the size of our array, two elements, and another bracket, square brackets. Let's put three. So this is a two by three array. Again, I'm going to put a comment in here. So a two by three array. So that's so that's uh, an example of a two-dimensional array. So a two-dimensional array declaration indicates the number of number the number of number rows and the number of columns. So number of rows and columns. So the first one, the first square bracket will be the will be the column and row. So nested uh, curly braces are used to initialize elements row by row as as in this example let me show it to you so let's give let me give you another example int and then let's let's use a different character this time for the identifier let's put two and then another would be three and then the square brackets so we can initialize it something like this so 3, 2 and 6 for the first column and then I'm sorry for the first row so it's going to be first row and column so the first row would be we we're going to assign three to six the second row would be four four five and and uh, twenty so that's so in here we initialize it we just uh, declared a, an array we did not initialize it in here we initialize it we put the values three to six so the first row, the second row is 4, 5, 20. So it's a 2 by 3 array. And again, nested curly braces are used to initialize elements row by row, just like in this example. So let's try another example. And let's just. We can also use. Uh, let's let me just copy this instead of do it instead of creating a new one let me copy this one and we can also uh, take this form like that let me remove the spaces so we just need to put the uh, curly braces oops i forgot to put the curly braces break cur the separator Again, this is very important. You don't have to. You don't. You're going to get an error if you forgot to put this separator. So again, it's a two by three array. So the first and the second row, it should be separated with a curl with a separator with a comma. So I almost forgot to put to put this. So let me remove the spaces. So this is this is also correct. This uh, this statement is the same as this. So either form is acceptable. 
but I prefer this I recommend you using this type of form because it's more easy to understand easy to easy to um, it's easy to read since we know that this is the sec the first the second row we separated it with a with a comma instead of this one what if we have a lot of rows so we're going to put more more of elements in here or values for our array so I prefer you using this type of array for the for the two-dimensional array so the former statement offers more clarity in addition to that it's it offers more clarity with visualizing the structure of your array so I prefer you using this and uh, just a quick note that an array can have more than two dimensions so for example you prefer to add more just like what I said earlier we can add more to our arrays let's say it's a two by three um, let's just let's just add the size of array four in here just like that so if we declared something like this and then we initialize it then we're going to add more in here so in this example a5 I'm sorry b234 is an array that has five I'm sorry let me just correct this five three four so this is in this example this array has a five elements that each store three elements that each store four elements so it's a little confusing if you have more arrays but if you're going to break it down like this then you don't have to worry about it so that's it for this introductory and before we wrap up let's test your knowledge I have here a little exercise for you in this tab so um, I'm just going to ask you how many elements can the following array hold so in this example how many elements can the following array hold can this array hold if you know the answer please put please put it in the comment section below thank you